Hi, culinary distant learners. Hope you all had a nice and relaxing MEA break and you were able to spend some time with friends or family, maybe both. Um, this week we are going to be spending some time talking about plating and garnishing. So um, when you watch the video of me talking about plating and garnishing, you'll find out why it's crucial and important for chefs to um, know how to properly plate and garnish their dish before sending it out to their customers. Uh, so then you will get a chance and try your hand at some plating and garnishing techniques. Um, in class, what my students are going to be doing is they will have to do a little challenge of plating a boring old Twinkie. All right, now I understand that some of you probably most likely do not have a Twinkie at home. So um, what then you can do, and I think I talk about this in my video too, is just take anything that's kind of common that you would probably have around your house that, you know, maybe is, you know, monochromatic, probably isn't, you know, the most exciting. So, you know, I kind of think of like a bagel or maybe like a muffin or, you know, a piece of toast, that kind of thing. What could you do to jazz it up and kind of show some different plating techniques? Now, I don't expect you to go out and buy a whole box of Twinkies, all right? So please don't um, think that I'm expecting you to do that. Um, the next thing that you're going to be doing is kind of like a food styling challenge. And what we're going to be doing in class is each um, team is going to get a clear plastic cup um, and they're just going to fill it with ice water. And then they're going to get um, half of a lemon that they can use to slice up and kind of do whatever they want with. And then they have to, um, if weather permits, maybe go outside, use the photo booth or do whatever they want with to try to get some good angle um, to take you know, a good picture to try to capture the best photo of their uh, lemon ice water. All right, because we're gonna kind of talk about, you know, how, you know, food styling and just kind of that whole aspect of, you know, how we eat with our eyes first and how when food and drinks look appetizing, how we're more excited to try those and how um, customers are gonna be more open to you know, purchasing them and you know, spending more money on them. So that is what your challenges are this week. So two things to do this week um, in addition, or to submit, excuse me, the food plating challenge and then the water um, challenge. Um, and then, oh, then there's a, like a water reflection challenge too. So, and then watch the videos. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, reach out to me at any time. I'd be happy to explain anything, answer any questions. Um, or if you just need to talk about something more in depth, I can certainly do that as well. I look forward to seeing what you all come up with with your plating challenges and your um, water glass photography. You will also notice that you're going to be putting those in a discussion post too so that everybody can see those as well. Okay, and my hybrid learners will also be posting theirs too so you can see what they came up with too. All right, good luck, have fun, be creative.